Grace and peace be multiplied to you from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I want to send a special greeting to all of our co-laborers at Nazarene Full Gospel Church and those who also join us online. Uh, we're so grateful for your support always, but I want you to be a part of what we're getting ready to do for the next 12 days. Uh, starting on tomorrow, Thursday, October 20th, we are going to enter into a period of consecration. And that period of consecration simply means this. We are seeking God's face, asking God for ourselves, not for anybody else, for ourselves individually. Lord, what is it that I need to do that's going to allow me to have a deeper and closer walk with you? What do I need to remove? What do I need to add? That's going to get me totally in tune with you for what God is getting ready to do through this church for our next uh, 40 days and through the next uh, holiday season. We're asking God to, Lord, reveal to us what we need to remove, what we need to add so that we can continue to do this work. And what consecration pretty much means is this, is to dedicate or to set apart as sacred. It is to make or declare to be sacred, to appropriate to sacred use. God, use us for your service. To set apart, dedicate, or devote to the service or worship of God. So our prayer, as God has given me this direction as your pastor, Lord, would you lead us in all truth? Would you guide us? Would you let us understand and come to know what our purpose is individually and then collectively as an entire church. So if you are a co-laborer here at Nazarene for the next 12 days, I'm asking you, and I'm not setting any parameters or different, you know, uh, directions or, you know, directives rather, whatever it is that you know that has to be removed in your life, what needs to be added. God, I need more mercy. Lord, I need to be more forgiving. God, whatever it is, God, I need to remove this out of my life. I need to take this person out of my life. We are going to consecrate ourselves before the Lord so that for this next phase of ministry that he will have us to do, that we will be vessels emptied out, ready for the master's use. Amen. God bless you. God keep you. Come with me on this journey.